What is up guys, it's Corey from the Country Boys here and today I'm kind of tackling two videos in one. I'm doing the Scooby-Doo Rod Fishing Challenge and the Candy Fishing Challenge. I Today I'm using Trolley Sour Gummy Worms. Fishing in my spot that I fish at a lot down here at my campground. So let's get started, first cast. I, it's a Texas rigged. It's kind of like a Texas rigged Senko, it's just really small. This reel, it's got about the worst line on it anybody could ever want. But for where I'm fishing at, it's really good. Move the camera down. This is a weighted Senko or else this hole won't cast. Right in the tree. Casting out in the shade and I got it right in the gosh darn tree. I'm using a 3 aught Gamakatsu hook and two split shot weights. They're like a little less than a quarter ounce. I just, I'm seeing fish really close. It's snagged. It's a bad thing about where I fish at. There's a bunch of rocks. But it does come undone really easy if you do it right. This will be one of many videos that I make today. It's just a really nice day and I'll be out all day. Do not think that these gummy worms will go to waste when I'm done with the video. I will eat all of them. They are really, really good. I like them. The reel is having trouble. I didn't take a video of it, but yesterday for my birthday, I went fishing. That'll be in an earlier video. Uh, I caught a catfish. So now the worm is wacky rigged. It wacky rigged itself. So I'm going to reset it so that way it doesn't fall off. thing is really slimy now. No, I do not use O-rings. The reason I do not use O-rings is because I kind of feel that they are pointless. Why well, use O-rings when I can just put it on there and it be fine? That's why it was having trouble. Alright, let's see if I can catch one on this wacky rig, Senko. Right now it's close to, it's a little bit after midday. So what you want to do is cast in the shade like I am. Right over there is a bunch of shade. That's where a lot of the fish will hang out because in the shade it's cooler water. Just 
tiny bites but you don't want to go on the first bite you want to wait until they completely take it then with this with this thing you're really going to have to get the rod tip high the coolest catch that I've ever had down here in this creek I caught a crawfish We're having fish sticks for supper. Well, got off catch and release, I guess. What all type of fish there are down here in this creek that you mostly catch are Bluegill, rock bass, and chub. There is smallmouth in here, but they're harder to catch. I caught a three pounder. But I haven't caught anything. It's been about an hour I've had to edit this. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Koi from the Country Boys, and I'm out.